just got out of the shower. Um, my dad was admitted to the hospital last night. So I'm going to my mom's house to meet her so we can go back to the hospital. She was there so late. She was there so late and was in so much pain um, that when she was leaving, an employee was like, ma'am, do you need a wheelchair? And he got a wheelchair for her and took her all the way to her car. I'm so grateful for whoever he is. She said his name was Marco. Blessings upon you, Marco. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to go meet my mom and then we're going to head over to the hospital. They're not uh, really sure what was what is wrong with him, but um, we are touching an agreement that he will be fine. His heart is fine. They did say that. Uh, but they're not sure why his blood pressure they was not they were not able to regulate it so um i'll know more today Okay, so we're here at the VA and they did all the tests and everything. So we're grateful to say that they are releasing my dad. Um, they ran all the tests. They couldn't find anything wrong with his heart or anything like that. They think that it may be that um, he hasn't been eating much, you know. So we are grateful he's feeling much better. My mom said he's looking much better than he was when she brought him here. Uh, and he said that he's feeling much better and he actually ate because apparently he hadn't been doing much of that uh, the last couple of weeks. So we are grateful. Mm. I'm about to eat all my mama's food that she has that's even remotely vegan. So thank you, mama. This quinoa, this kind of loaf, this mango. About to smash it, I'm starving. But look at this cute little spoon <laughs> that comes with it folding spoon <laughs> cute and it says you can eat it hard or cold so if I enjoy it I'm gonna definitely look into this brand because it is vegan fully cooked so this will be something I can definitely just keep with me when I'm out in the bed so let's hope I enjoy it okay first spoon Not bad at all. So I gotta check and see if they have like other flavors as well. All right, I just left my parents' house. It was so funny at one point. I woke up because I fell asleep. My dad and I, he loves watching Discovery Channel and National Geographic. So that's what we do. And I woke up because my alarm was in the kitchen. My phone was charging and my alarm was going off. And I was like, ooh. Diddy, I fell asleep and he was asleep too, so uh, it's kind of funny. We both we fell out after hours of uh, First Alaska's or something like I think it's called. It's kind of barbaric, but you know, it was the way things used to be uh, for the natives uh, in Alaska. Very interesting too because, like, uh, certain spaces, if you're not a native, like if you're fishing, you can only catch five fish in certain places a day. Uh, but the natives can, you know, catch as much as they want and do all these things. It's kind of barbaric though, right? Because, I mean, they catch the poor little animals and, I mean, they, you know, they're all the things. <laughs> um, but it's also kind of interesting, but it is definitely kind of barbaric. But whoop, it is very windy and cold out here. Well, it's not really cold. It's just a little windy and rainy. Uh, so I'm about to make my way in. I was going to live stream. I'm tired. <laughs> it's so interesting how, like, just sitting around just wears you completely out so just gonna go get some food um shout out to my mom who gave me uh, she's like eat whatever you want here baby <laughs> i was like okay my mom what you got that's vegan so thankfully she had a little quinoa and some fruit so i was able to munch on that because i didn't eat breakfast so i was just trying to get to her house uh we didn't know they were gonna let him go today but we're grateful that they did so but now i'm ready to go get some food and relax oh 
And shout out to my bubble umbrella because if I didn't have it, I'd be soaking wet right now. Shout out to my bubble umbrella. It is highly recommended, highly. Good morning. It is Wednesday, November 6th. Um, we all know what happened yesterday. And that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, other than I was hopeful, but I am not surprised. So, Anyway, I'm going to, this morning, go to one of my favorite, well, my, my favorite place here in the city for a little peace and joy. So I packed up a little bit of matcha to have. I just finished dreaming and then I just wanted to have some time to myself. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm here in the Aeroid room. It's lovely, beautiful, gorgeous, lots of philodendron and all the beautiful juicy leaves. I mean, look at that. So amazing. Also in the middle there, I will insert a clip. It is a gorgeous um, pa'an that has this beautiful glass artwork called the Chihuly. But yeah, I'm just gonna sit here, breathe for a little bit love these these are tetrasperma people always think that they're monstera but they are called tetrasperma love those so quite a bit of those as well they're some of my favorites but yeah i'm just going to breathe for a bit guys grateful for another day all right it is i don't know i think it's after two i should have left a long time ago but i just needed to sit I just needed to sit amongst the plants. And I'm glad I did. Um, yeah. There's just something about plants, you know. They give you just something you just can't get anywhere else. So I'm glad that I was able to do it. Now we get ready to put in some hours, you know, make a little money. so good at. I love the fall plantings that they put in. Looks completely different from summer, but equally beautiful. Guess I will hop the train. my live stream a little bit ago miss my bus so I've just been here stretching my legs which I have to do after every live stream I didn't want to miss my bus I literally missed it by like 30 seconds <laughs> because they pull away from this platform so which they shouldn't because like how will people catch the bus but they do so I missed it by like 30 seconds but it's all good I got to stretch my legs but I'm literally just ready to be in. But it was a good live. And yeah, I'm ready to be in now. So hopefully it'll be a nice fast bus ride. My bus is coming now. Good afternoon. It is Thursday. I am listening to one of my faves on YouTube, uh, Monica 
She is, let's get her name, Monica, oh, just her name, Monica Razak. She's actually doing the Ryan Park Winter Market 52-day pop-up. Bless her soul, because my Lord, the amount of work, I can only imagine, like, just goes into showing up there for 52 days. Uh, I'm excited to watch her do it. I know she will do well. But anyway, I just, um, getting up to go downstairs because I had to place an order for food. Because <laughs> uh, I only buy a little bit at a time. Um, because my friends, you know, I'm sharing a fridge with a family. Uh, so I only get a little bit at a time. So... I guess we'll turn it on me. Um, so I get a little bit of time. So I just placed an Amazon order. I also placed a Target order. Amazon order is being delivered here. Target is not, you know, I'm just going to go. So not far. So I'm going to go to Target, pick up my little order. And who doesn't love a Target run? Who doesn't like to walk around Target? That's the other reason why I don't place it for delivery. Uh, but yeah, so going to do that and then make some brunch. Because <laughs> it's after 12 and I haven't eaten yet. So going to do that make my matcha and I decided that I'm already gonna start using my little Christmas mug that I got weeks back when we were in uh, Ross I think it was Ross so excited for this little mug Ugh, just looking at it is bringing me so much joy but yeah we're about to put make all our little drinks and drink them in this beautiful mug it has um, the removable top. Let's see if I can get it off with one hand. <laughs> I think, I think, I think, I think I can. Yeah. I think I can. I can't. <laughs> but all right, I couldn't get it off because they have this really secure, um, like rubber band thing on it. But it's so adorable. I absolutely love it. So this is how we're gonna be drinking our matcha today. <laughs> some of these drivers they're so weird like why would you put that guy like way in front of the stairs my favorite drivers understand that you know it's probably best to sit it off to the side not sit it in the sun but grateful to be able to get it delivered all right so i pretty much just got my usuals for my breakfast Oh, and these potatoes, amazingly, they're still like th $3 online, on the app, rather. But in the store, they're like I said before, it's almost $7. So as long as they're on sale, I'm buying them. Um, and then I also picked up a little... Oh, let's see. Let's see. I broke it with my hand. Sorry, guys. Let me pull this out a little bit. There we go. It's a little bit. Um... I don't have my uh, DJ down here and I'm not going upstairs to get it because I got my nice little sizzler working on my back right now. Um, and then just some household wheat and a girl needed some chocolate. <laughs> like legit needed some chocolate. So. so I don't have milk, so we're going old school. We're doing just H2O. Uh, and I don't have milk because I ordered milk from Target. And like I said, I haven't been because a girl's trying to get this back together. Um, so, matcha, old school, no latte, it is. finished my live stream so I'm stretching my legs because it is a must <laughs> in particular I gotta make sure I stretch my hips I have my tens machine on my knee so my knee isn't bad but I definitely have to stretch after I do oh, like hours of walking so that's what I'm doing while I wait for the bus
Friday. It's breakfast time. Uh, and my friend's so sweet. She always makes like veggies and stuff. I'm like, eat as much as you want. So sweet. We love it. We love it. But of course, I'm doing my usual also. Because I'm a creature of habit. And I actually enjoy it. So I'm making my sausage. You have my eggs. Also, I'm adding a little bit those potatoes that I um, showed that I bought. Um, some broccoli. And I might save some of that for later because when I come in after streaming I don't want to be making a lot of noise in the kitchen so I think I'll have some of this and keep it for later for after the stream literally for God to record any content but I did just finish live streaming and I also <laughs> one moment I also forgot that I have a target order that I really want to pick up because I got like some really good deals and yeah so I just finished my stream. It's about, I don't know, nine o'clock. I don't even know. Because now I'm over here totally in a different route that I normally do. Because I gotta go to Target. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. But well, we, of course, love Hearth and Hen. I love her little traditional vibe. It's not my vibe because I'm more like a gold, white um, Christmas vibe. What about you guys? What's your Christmas vibe? You're scared of it? Yeah, 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 honey. I'm like, I don't want anything that makes me not be me. You know what I mean? Like, just, mm. no, I got enough vices. I don't, I just, yeah, it's just never my thing. I have never smoked anything. I never chewed anything. It's just not my vibe. just left from visiting my mama again uh, she's much better energy wise and everything today so I'm happy to that for that uh, tomorrow she takes a stress test that's one of the things that she hates but she's done it numerous times so she, she's trying to get her mind right for that um, most of her vitals are good so we're happy about that but they're just trying to figure out uh, if something's going on with her heart because she's had two heart attacks before. So, yeah. Oh, I tell you, raining and pouring, but we are ever, ever hopeful, always. Uh, my dad said that also he's gonna go back to the VA tomorrow because he's still lightheaded. I think, I'm, I'm thinking he may have vertigo, uh, but he's gonna say he's going back tomorrow so that they can run more tests because they weren't really sure but his vitals are back to normal as far as like his blood pressure. <sighs> so, yeah, guys. <laughs> uh, I'm just grateful that they both hanging in there and hopefully we'll be much better soon. I'm here at the literal end of Chicago, beginning of Oak Park. <laughs> here at Austin, Chicago. Waiting for this bus. Gonna go, since it goes all the way there, I'm just gonna go to Navy Pier and do my stream there. Need to get out and do some walking. So I figure, why not go to Navy Pier? It's one shot, one straight shot on this bus. So it's gonna be a kind of long ride, but got my, uh, audiobooks got my music so should be good but look at that sky ah oh, so grateful so truly grateful
they're keeping my dad so i gotta um take his car to the house well i gotta go see my mother in the hospital this is the wildest i've never in my life imagined that both my parents be in the hospital at the same time but here we are thankfully my dad has some kind of idea what's going on with him but he's gonna get an mri tomorrow so they can hopefully have more information uh but yeah so we got here around it definitely was before 10 a.m and it's almost 3 50. so i'm going to like i said go to see my mom because she had to have some tests again they're still keeping her at the other hospital and i'm gonna eat this little banana because that's all i have and i haven't eaten today so i gotta keep reminding myself you know i gotta take it myself as well but yeah so we're just grateful they're still you know both progressing Well, you know that wasn't gonna happen. Um, it's Tuesday. I just finished breakfast. Using my happy mug for my matcha this morning, and I am watching Shaughnessy. Does a lot of book talk, uh, book YouTube, talk to Graham, all the things. But I'm gonna just just sip on the matcha. Uh, I forgot my headphones. <laughs> Today is Thursday. Yesterday, Wednesday, I forgot my fanny pack. <laughs> but I'm so grateful we get to pick my dad up today. And I want to go back and get my headphones, but then I, I just need to get to the house. Because I know my mom's on edge about making sure we're there when he's released so he doesn't have to wait. <laughs> So yeah, oh god, I gotta be on trans without my headphones. It's oh god. <laughs> but we are so grateful. Both of my parents will be home today. I'm so tired. And I got a little back drama, so I got my little sizzler tense machine working that out. Oh god. And Allison was like, You're not getting breakfast? I'm like, no, I gotta go. Uh, would have loved some breakfast. I would have loved some matcha, but I was low on milk. And then she also said she had bought me more milk. She's so sweet, so kind. Whew. Truly grateful. Um, but I just got to go, like I said, because I don't want my mom being all stressed about the fact that we're not there when he's ready to go. So I got to go. But I need my headphones. Oh. Happy Friday. It's November 15th. <laughs> Just so grateful that both my parents are finally home. Um, and I have so much to do, guys. I have to catch up on so much of my life. I have not done anything, really. <laughs> Just been trying to make sure that I do what I need to do for them and rest. Those have been my two things, although I'm still a bit tired. I have been resting um, as much as possible. Um, because, I mean, how could I help them if I was not well? So, today... We get back to the things. We get back to my errands, picking up my things, my mail, all the things. Uh, live streaming, all the things, because I am working to build that account, uh, especially TikTok. And now I have a new opportunity on TikTok um, to potentially make more money uh, because there's a like to know it um, integration that's happening. So that should be fun. We get to actually put links on TikTok in the comments. So I'm excited about that. Um, I know it's coming with a lot of different pl platforms like Walmart, Amazon, but I'm going to be doing this test. I think it's 21 days. Would like to know it uh, before I start using any of the other ones, but I'll also be doing my TikTok shop um, post as well. I just got to get busy. I just got to get busy. I got to get busy. Um, <laughs> these last two weeks have been a little, somewhat of a blur, but we're getting back to the things. Uh, and today it starts with just getting errands together and uh, budget and all those kind of things. So, yeah, I can't believe it's already November 15th, but it is. So, here we go. But so to start back to getting back to the things, I am going to make some breakfast. Honestly, admittedly, I did not eat like I should have during all of this. But, yeah, going to make some breakfast, make a nice big matcha. 
Oh, I'm moving around a little too much with this back. So let me make this happen and sit down for a few more minutes. <laughs> Finally out, getting ready to run some errands. I'm gonna take the train and just do a little stream as I go downtown. But it is not bad, not bad outside at all. It's actually pretty nice. It's not crazy windy, that always makes the difference when it's crazy windy and it's not. So happy about that. I might actually take one of my layers off just for now. Uh, yeah, because it's not really warm at all. I mean, cold at, at all. I'm here in storage because I need to get my rolling cart. So I gotta take all this stuff out of here. Um, I just need my card. It just makes it easier for me to be lugging stuff around. So, got to do that. Then I got to go to the post office, um, go to Amazon, and other things. So, got to do that. Okay, so, I walk all the way to the post office. Only to find that they've closed that end of the bridge, which is where I was coming from. <laughs> So I had to walk blocks and blocks and blocks and blocks to come all the way around. It's so annoying. <sighs> but I finally made it here. And I'm ready to go home, but I promised folks that I would stream tonight. <laughs> and I really actually want to stream tonight. They're opening uh, the skating rinks downtown. So I'm the skating ribbon, which is my favorite. At Maggie Daly Park, so I want to go and just be in that vibe. I love it so much. It always gives me like little Hallmark vibes, so I want to do it. So I'm going to put my tans on my knee <laughs> and make it happen. But I was just like, oh my god, when I got over there, I even walked the bridge a little bit to see like maybe there was a little opening. No, they have literally ripped out the sidewalk and everything. So you gotta go all the way around. <laughs> I've been in the post office so long now it's dark <laughs> I consolidated everything ah, so that's good oh and another thing when I was coming up these stairs this guy he walked up behind me he lifted my little cart I looked around I didn't feel bad energy so even though I looked around looked at him I was like oh thank you <laughs> but you know he didn't say a word he just lifted it up that's how it used to be in New York. Folks would be carrying a stroller up those crazy or down those crazy subway stations. You just did the thing and kept it moving. It definitely reminded me of that. But all right, so I think I'm just gonna take this stuff to storage because it's supposed to go stream and I'm not, excuse me going to be lugging it with me um so i think i'm just gonna take it to storage yeah but look at that sky is it not amazing like absolutely amazing this before like this has been like this for decades oh that's a dead rat my lord <laughs> but i literally reported this bridge like 20 years ago and it's still just horrendous so I don't know what the deal is. Maybe they'll fix it next after the section behind us that's all closed off. It's like very, very, very humbling, right? Because if you, um, not that I took it for granted, but being on transit is very humbling. <laughs> I just had to let a bus go because it was too crowded. And it's just a reminder you know how good we got it even when it's not so grand and in our mind most of us have it pretty darn good uh but since i stopped driving january my my path the, where i was going was pretty pretty defined now i'm going more places getting on all different types of buses and routes i'm reminded and even more grateful because like i said there are very humbling moments like the fact that i just had a lot of bus go because i couldn't get on with this but um, yeah, but here comes another one. And this one is crowded too. And that's kind of annoying because there was one that came before this one. 
and it was pretty much empty but it went around a bus that was standing in front of me so that's always annoying but yeah in a minute i'm just gonna start hitting the pavement because yeah a train been trying taking a train lately so I don't have to wait that long wait in case if I miss a bus so ready to get in and just work this body <laughs> <laughs> 